Bright, aka Mama Friendly, and I do all sorts of videos on my channel, from cooking videos to planner videos, vlogs, hauls, homeschool videos with a Disney twist, a little bit of everything. So if any of that sounds like fun to you, I hope that you'll subscribe and join me on my YouTube adventure. Today's video is called Clutter Free in 2023. Now, if you've been following me on Instagram or even in my daily vlogs on this channel, you'd have seen that since November 27th, 2022, I've been embarking on my own sort of decluttering journey. Completely by happenstance, I realized on November 27th that if I started counting that day, there were 400 days between then and the end of 2023. So I thought to myself, if I commit to throw out one thing a day, starting now, November 27th of 2022, then I will have gotten rid of at least 400 things by 2024. And so the hashtag 400 by 2024 was born. There's a few people already in on the challenge where they're just posting every day what they've gotten rid of. And I could be better about posting it on Instagram. I'm better about posting it in my daily vlogs. But regardless, I would love for you to join us. I thought this is perfect. I can put together a compilation and show you guys what I'm throwing out every day so that I'm giving you guys a month to month check in, not only so you can see what all I'm getting out of my house in 2023, but also kind of to help hold me accountable. So with that being said, let me show you what I got rid of in this past month. All right, pals, we are setting up to do our last declutter slash donation of the year. In the last video, I meant to throw out 30 things for the 30 days in November, but I ended up actually throwing out 31 things. So in order to make our goal for the year, 400 items in 400 days, I technically only need to throw out 30 items in this video and we'll be done. And I have a feeling that we are definitely going to meet that today and perhaps even beyond that. So I have the Vietnam veterans coming one last time this year to pick up some stuff. And I have so many books specifically, but just things around my son's homeschool room generally that I'd like to get rid of so that we have more room for like incoming Christmas things. So I figure now's as good a time as any and it'll help wrap up the year very nicely. So stack of books here. So we've got one, two, this is actually a puzzle, but item three, I'm going to go ahead and box these as I go so that they're out of our way and so that they're ready to be picked up. So this is going to be four, five, six. You might recognize these from our homeschool curriculum, right? If you were watching our videos this last year where we were doing the Epcot World Showcase, I'll post that playlist up in the corner. Uh, seven, eight, nine, ten already. Ten of our 30 items. I'm running out of box. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So we're halfway through our 30 item goal. So we're gonna have here 17, that's our quilling kit. We only used one, I think like three shreds of paper from the whole kit, so there's still plenty here to be used. Um, so that's gonna be 17, 18, 19, and 20. So these are some Kiwi Crate boxes for older kiddos to put together some cool stuff. And hopefully some older kiddos out there can use these and enjoy them. So we're already at 20. That's pretty exciting. Didn't realize how quickly this video was going to fly by. <laughs> so we've got 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. These are all books that I've read recently, so I'm passing them on. 27, 28, 29 and 30 so that's already our goal for the year officially as of this moment there's already been countless number of things that I've thrown out that I've said and eh, let's just count this as one item or I just want to get rid of this I'm not even going to bother counting it as the total so unofficially we hit 400 items in 400 days a long time ago but right now as of this moment you're watching this we've officially officially hit 400 items in 400 days and there's still more where that came from i'm also going to get rid of this right here 
brand new and this one's actually still wrapped in its plastic even so hopefully some kiddos can use this as well so officially our grand total is 402 items thrown out in less than 400 days because you're watching this at some point in 2024 I'm counting it towards December 2023's total, but actually I'm recording this in September of 2023. So we more than met our goal. The year's not over yet. I'm sure I'm gonna continue to declutter. So if you want to see, maybe not one item a day, I might not put like an actual item per day goal or any sort of goal at all, but if you've enjoyed watching me declutter my home these last few months and you want to see me continue to do that, let me know in the comments and I will continue the series. Maybe we'll go room by room. Maybe we'll do, I don't know if we'll do it every month. Y'all let me know what you want to see, what works for you. But I know that there's still plenty more where this came from. I can definitely stand to continue decluttering. I thought for a minute that there was no way I was gonna find 400 items in my house to get rid of. And now that we have, I can see that there's still way more to go. So, thank you for joining me on this journey. Hopefully you will continue to do so. And if you've been on this decluttering journey with me yourself, I hope it's gone great. I hope that you're breathing so much freer with less clutter in your life. And here's looking forward to a fantastic 2024. All right, guys, there you have it. That's what I've decluttered in this last month. Was there anything you saw that was a little bit surprising, maybe? Can you relate to having all these random things just thrown about your house that maybe you don't need? And are you maybe on a decluttering mission of your own this year? Tell me about it in the comments, and I'd love for you to join the hashtag 400 by 2024 because I'd love to see what random things people are finding around their houses and giving the old heave-ho. And as always, I want to thank you all so much for being here and watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, I hope that you'll please give it a big thumbs up. I'd also love it if you'd subscribe and click that notification bell because I post at least three times a week and I wouldn't want you to miss a minute. Thanks so much again for watching. Bye.